Thursday floss tube. Hello crafty friends. How's everybody doing today? It is another Thursday, almost the middle of May. My name is Caroline. Welcome back. Lately I've been doing daily crafty chats on my video full of cross stitch, knitting, sewing, general, personal chit chat, all that kind of good stuff. So if you're new here, I'm glad you came for a visit. And if you've been here for a while, I'm really glad you came back. This has become such a big part of my day doing these daily videos. It, it takes a lot of time and uh, it's become something that I look forward to every day. And I thank you for being there. And I really thank you for all of your you know, comments. And, and I, I know I said this yesterday, but again, it, uh, it means a lot to me to have you out there to chat with me. Otherwise, I'm just here talking to myself, which sometimes happens as well, but that's okay. So I, yesterday was such a busy day after, um, I was really glad that I had chatted with you in the morning because the rest, everything took 10 times longer to accomplish yesterday than it should have. It was just one of those funny things, like you do one thing and then, you'd have to do 10 more things because of something that had happened while you were doing the first thing. It was one of those things where your to-do list, my to-do list grew exponentially from, you know, from five to like 500. And I am also prone to exaggeration, but nonetheless, uh, it, it was a very, very, very strange long day. And so I, I had one, <laughs> I had I had one personal, you know, crafty to do for a member of my family. I was going to make John a laptop sleeve and it didn't get done. It didn't get done. And fortunately, I hadn't told him that I was going to do it yesterday. So he wasn't looking for it last night when he came home. He wasn't he wasn't saying, oh, where's my new laptop sleeve? You told me you were going to make that. And um, so I hadn't told him that it was on the list yesterday. So he wasn't expecting it. He wasn't looking for it. So at the moment I'm off the hook and thank you to those who left me messages and tips and tricks about uh, how to handle that double batting I'm I had actually and I had already cut the one pair slightly smaller for that uh, so that I would only be doing the one seam anyways the person who left me that comment you'll know what I mean and obviously great minds think alike thank you and thanks to everybody who, who took the time to leave me leave me tips and comments and just general hellos yesterday. It was really nice. Uh, speaking of people sending me nice uh, messages, I have one to share with you today. And I did ask, I asked permission before, uh, before sharing this because this lady, this, um, this viewer had sent me a personal email and uh, when I, I read it, it kind of gave me goosebumps. And I, I just thought it was such a wonderful story that I thought it might, it might make those of you out there um, who maybe need to hear a nice story, maybe you would like to hear this as well. So this was a viewer named Catherine. And Catherine sent me, I'm just trying to find the original email here. Okay. so. This is referencing a video that I did last Saturday, which was the day before uh, Mother's Day. And on Saturday's video, I was offering up a PDF chart giveaway from another viewer, Tracy, who very generously offered a second copy of the Carolyn Manning Beachcomber pattern that she had purchased. She wanted to offer up her second copy as a giveaway. So. Side note, if you would like to be entered in that giveaway, you have to go to last Saturday's video, watch that video and you'll find out what you need to do in order to enter that little giveaway. And all of these daily crafty chat videos are now dated um, with the date that I record them. So it'll be la it'll have Saturday in the title and it's the last Saturday that I recorded. And I was in my car, so you'll see the screenshot. It was last and I think I'm holding a sock and my coffee mug. That's the video that you'll need. Carolyn Manning Beachcomber Pattern Giveaway. It's, it's a great pattern. Okay, so now you've got the backstory. Catherine sent me the following email. 
Hi Caroline, I didn't want to enter the Beachcomber giveaway, but I wanted to share a stitchy story. So I ran out of 413. Uh, we, we might have some non-stitchers watching. Um, I know we have lots of knitters, lots of, lots of crafty friends who do lots of things. So what 413 is, that's a color number um, of floss, DMC floss that stitchers use. And most stitchers know immediately what color um, many of the numbers are just off by heart. So when we say want to look for a color of drape or a dress, we might think in DMC color shades. So it's kind of a kind of a funny thing. So so I ran out of 413 in a kit this morning and I'm almost done with the project. I really wanted to finish it and I remembered that I had my mom's last whip in my guest room and it had 413. My mom passed away in 2015 and now it feels like she's stitching along with me. She was an incredible human and a wonderful mom. Thanks for your videos. I always enjoy spending a few minutes in Canada with you. I'm a little choked up you guys because I just think when I read that it gave me just it just felt so right that she, you know, she had her mom's last Sorry, I say mom um it's it's many in Canada say mom, lots say mom. In I know you you call your mom I'm going to have to say mom because that's correct for you um, your your mom was very she's there with you and I just think that that's oh, isn't that wonderful so I wrote Kathy back and I, I asked her if I could share her story and she she did one better she sent me a photo so I am going to uh, put in a photo here she is working on the uh, Hogwarts by Stitchering on Etsy. And I've seen this chart before, actually. I have a, there is a knitter friend on the Fiber Friends Facebook group, and she, I believe, stitched this. It's a crest, if I'm not mistaken. Like a Hogwarts crest, is that correct? I'm gonna have to, now I'm gonna have to look up this pattern. Uh, so she sent me a picture of her current whip, as well as a photo of the card of floss that she found in her mom's project. So I'm going to insert those two photos right here. Isn't that good? That is, that just, ah, oh, it just, made me so happy that she shared that with me. Thank you, Kathy. Thank you so much. Okay. So uh, again, like I said, like I took a really long time to tell you at the beginning of this video, yesterday was a long day. And by the end of it, I did not do one. Si oh wait, no, that is not true. I did put in a few stitches into my Lila studio. How could I forget that? It was, uh, I remember the little basket. <laughs> <laughs> on that massive project that I started, the little teeny tiny basket, I did some more fill-in work on the basket. That's it. It's it's not even worth sharing it with you today. I'm going to try to put in a little bit more work on it tonight because it is such a beautiful project. I would really like to work my way up the vine to the bird. I really want to get to that bird. So let's see what I can do tonight and I'll share it with you tomorrow. But this morning, I did my 30 minutes with coffee uh, my, my morning coffee stitches and I put 30 minutes of work into my ink circles thread and I mandala uh, and what did I finish so it's so funny because when I turned it and I, I said I told you yesterday that now I see a butterfly well when I was looking at it last night I saw an elephant can you see can you see an elephant in there in the little corner I see a butterfly but then it morphs into the ears of an elephant and then someone else said they saw a koala it is just so cool I love it I love it so I finished the the one um, I finished these two motifs had some some stitching that needed fill in in there uh, I did a little bit more of this one in here and then I had some extra thread left over from a few of these motifs so I filled in I did, you know, a little bit in here and some of the 
where is it? Oh yeah, down in here, that's it. So overall, those little bits and pieces over time, they, they really add up. I'm loving this. And I'm just really enjoying watching it fill in. Okay, so I'm gonna sit back a little bit because I think the color might be a little bit better back here, maybe. I don't know, I'm kind of in the dark, aren't I? It is, uh, it's really, really gray outside today. And I did notice that the lighting was better yesterday in the morning sunlight uh, than it normally is because normally I record later in the day. But today it is it is really dark and gray. So I'm I'm not gonna get much good light, but Anyways, I think you can see the colors well enough there. So, screenshot of the day. And uh, I look forward to sharing it again with you tomorrow. You know it's coming back. So, yeah, speaking of the weather, we are supposed to get massive amount, well, massive, massive is relative. It's not gonna be like, you know, a foot of rain. Uh, we are supposed to get 15 to 20 millimeters of rain later this afternoon. So I've already taken Luna for a really nice long walk this morning. I try to do it at least once a day where she gets one really nice long walk and then another quick short walk. So depending on what the day is looking like. So we've already done that this morning. So I'm feeling very accomplished. I've had my morning coffee and stitches. I've you know, gotten in some really good exercise this morning. And so now I'm going to finish my uh, to-do list of chores this afternoon and then I am going to relax tonight and stitch. So other than my Lila Studio piece that I'd like to work on tonight, the other piece that I'm going to work on tonight, which I haven't put any stitches in, but I wanted to show, I wanted to share this with you because, uh, Savon, uh, and let me show you how I'm, because now actually, let me flip it around. This is how I'm working on it now. And I explained yesterday the, the whole upside downside thing, um, why I'm stitching it this way now instead of bottom up, I'm stitching it top down. Uh, a few people messaged me and they said, uh oh, are you sure that, that, that you put that in the right spot? This, this motif right here, because you can see this one here and you can see this one here, they look off kilter, don't they? That is totally an optical illusion because I haven't stitched the black. Um, up top here and I have stitched the black on top of this one. I promise you they it's in the right spot. I know it really looks wrong but it I, I've when you said that actually was it I can't remember it might have been two or three people who asked I can't remember um, but I love that you're so concerned. Isn't that nice trying to catch it before it becomes a massive error? I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Um, so I did go and triple check it and it is correct. So I intend to fill this in today so that it doesn't look like a mistake anymore. So that is uh, Savon 16 count Ada with uh, the called for DMC threads. And I liked here, people are saying, oh, I resisted, I resisted, but I can't resist anymore. And I've gone and I've bought the chart and now I'm gonna stitch it and I'm so excited and it's all your fault. and. You're welcome. <laughs> Isn't it fun? And in case you missed the memo, uh, Tracy at Ink Circles has re-released this chart. It is available now on her website. And uh, um, it's a PDF download. Oh, that's, that reminds me. That was another thing I'm gonna talk about this. And Tracy doesn't know me from Boo, so I'm not being paid to advertise these charts or anything like that. I just really like the chart. The really cool thing about these charts, now she calls them RYO, roll your own. Uh, so it's the, it's the Thread and I Mandela RYO, which stands for roll your own. And apparently this was the very first one of these type of charts that she did. And what she means by roll your own is kind of what I was talking about yesterday, the choose your own adventure. So she doesn't give you the threads. You get to choose your own, okay? So if my colors don't float your boat, imagine this done in your own colors. And I know, because I have talked about this before, I know I had at least one other person who said, you know, oh, the colors on the chart when I first saw it didn't really do it for me, but then I, that then you said you could do it in whatever colors you want, and I love purples and reds, and bingo. Now all of a sudden it is 
it's you and it's what you want and it's what you want to see so the whole saga about this piece I've told many times I started off instead of the mustard color yellow color that's in here it used to be pink I ripped out all the pink and I didn't have any other uh, I, I didn't have another color family in the silk floss that I was using for the other colors and so all I did was I went to my DMC boxes of bobbinated thread I picked a color mustard that I thought would go with the blues the browns and the greens and I picked out three shades at random and I laid them on the fabric with the other flosses that I had already chosen and that's how I picked my thread so you can do these charts with whatever you already have you don't have to go out and buy you know a whole new range of threads you can download the pdf you can use fabric you've got in your stash you can use threads you've got in your stash it's really it's really that simple and uh so i'm stitching this on a 32 count white linen that's what that is so that's about that's about it i have done zero knitting in the last couple of days i haven't even knit a row on my father-in-law's sock so I should try to do some of that tonight as well. My thumb is, is okay. I think it might be the weather. So yeah, it's a little bit of arthritis, I'm sure. Well, arthritis ten, you know, joined up with overuse. Let's face it, we're crafters. We tend to use those. We use our thumbs quite a lot. So uh, it, I think I'm just gonna have to be really careful with the with the small circular knitting. So what I might do instead tonight is maybe knit two, three rounds max on the sock, and then I might try to put two whole rows into Sarah's afghan. That would be nice. Cause I do, I, it's that kind of weather, it's started raining now. It has started raining. Uh, it's that kind of weather where you feel like being cozy. So I might make a nice cup of tea and sit and work on Sarah's afghan. That sounds nice okay uh, so tomorrow's Friday which means it's going to be focus on a designer day and I'm looking forward to sharing a new designer well new to me designer with you tomorrow and uh, I, I already have the designer in mind and again it is thank you to a viewer who sent me her whip that she was working on and I just fell right down that rabbit hole and it was a ton of fun. And so I'm really looking forward to sharing that with you tomorrow. And I, the last couple of weeks I've been doing a small shop update on Fridays. I am not gonna have one ready for tomorrow. It's just, you know, you're, you're here with me every day. You know, life has been happening this week. So, and also we are working towards, um, I will be moving up to the cottage, to the cabin next, next week. And so I am, <laughs> I'm trying to work on what am I going to take with me? What fabrics am I going to work with? Um, you know, what kind of, what kind of projects am I going to bring with me? Trust me, that, that was kind of top of the list. And I already know half of, of what I'm taking. It's going to be, it's going to be, it's going to be good. Uh, but so I, I have done very little sewing for the shop this week. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to do a shop update until Monday, which here in Canada is actually a holiday Monday. Uh, it is the Victoria Day weekend. I'm still going to be here, so I will be putting out a video on Monday. And I'm just going to pop a few bags in the shop on Monday. And that will be my last shop update from here. The next shop update will be probably a couple of weeks from, from then from up north. And, uh, and then things will be different. We'll see. It's, it's always, it's always kind of, you know, every summer, last summer I actually didn't, didn't really get up there. I got up there for two weeks at the end, uh, of the summer because I spent the summer here with my golden retriever, Daria, because, uh, health wise, she wasn't able to make it to the, to the island last summer. And so I chose to spend her last few months here with her. And, uh, it was, it was time well spent. So I, I made it up for a couple of weeks at the end and uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to, to getting back. That feels, that, that place has always, I mean, this is my home. This is my home. 
but our home on the island has always felt more like my my heart home does that make sense I think you you know what I mean so the videos um, uh, the videos from the cottage will probably be a little bit shorter and probably a little bit more um, kind of vlog style maybe I always feel very strange using that word I feel like I'm much too old to use the word vlog but there you have it so uh, a little bit more of, of daily kind of life tucked into and and how my craft kind of you know winds its way into my life on a daily basis because it is such a small place and my children will be there with me and it, it's not conducive to setting up a, a thing like this um, to chat with you every day because that would really impinge upon their lifestyle there and I, and I don't want to you know ask them to hide in their rooms for for um however long I feel like chatting with you, which usually <laughs> I always say, oh, I, I have barely anything to share today. And then I end up editing like a half hour video. So it's, I, I need to, I need to make sure that they're, um, you know, comfortable with, with how things are going. And I, I don't tend to really, Sarah occasionally, uh, will, will show her face on the camera. I, I don't really share Nicholas. He's still a bit young and, uh, I am gonna try and get John in a little bit more when he is available. He will be still working here. Okay, I am going to say goodbye for now and I'll see you tomorrow for the Focus on a Designer. And I hope you have a great day, a great night. Thanks for checking in here with me today. Happy stitching everybody. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>